Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. Take a real quick second just to say thank you to all the channel members. Thank you all so much. And to invite you guys, if you haven't had a chance yet and you're so inclined, if you would hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, it would really help me out. And finally, if you guys are over on IG and you'd like to connect over there, I have an IG that matches my handle over here at jevans underscore knife addict underscore life. So now that that's done, I wanted to go over and give you my kind of long-term overview slash review of this really cool Berg Blades Sweeney. The Berg Blades Sweeney is what I consider to be a gentleman's folder made out of quality materials. Uh, this particular model is a front flipper, but it also has a blade hole. The way this knife came about is Bird Blades basically took three different designs. They took the handle from the Bird Barber, they took the blade from the tick and slipped it down, shrunk it down, or excuse me, extended it out to fit the Barber handle. And then they took the deployment hole from the slim. So if you go to their website, it gives you a little idea of how this knife came to be. And its overall, I guess, purpose was to be a, a nice high-end, full-size to medium gentleman's folder. The one I have is in this sandblasted, stonewashed titanium finish that I really love. And I picked this out specifically because it looked kind of apocalyptic looked kind of already worn in and the same is true with the blade it's got that sandblasted stonewashed finish it's a 20 cv blade it's got the bird blade logo and that is it very sterile let's grab one of my pieces of mystery hp printer paper copier paper that showed up via amazon that i didn't order that doesn't show up in my orders and just see how this guy cuts And you guys know I'm a very challenged cutter. This knife is uber slicey. And this knife cuts some cardboard. It's broken down probably only about four medium-sized Amazon boxes. When I say broken down, broken down into little... Uh, probably eight by eight, eight by four cubes, little, little strips that I put in the recycling bin so I can pack them up. But it cuts very well, very sharp. I think that's a combination of having a very nice flat grind, blade geometry, um, and a good edge, a good factory edge. This has not been stropped. It has not been touched up. It has not been sharpened at all. So what you have is a very basic nice construction you've got two pieces of titanium which you can see here from the top view that are milled down to accept this black micarta that sits in the front and on the clip side you've got a titanium clip if we were to look inside this titanium knife you will see a great deal of weight relief making the knife not feel light not as light as, say, a, uh, I'm going to guess not as light as the um, Voodoo I reviewed a few days ago. But, you know, not, not that heavy either. We'll get a weight on it in a second. But the detent on this knife is very, very snappy. I was watching Lefty EDC gush over it, and I don't know if he still has this knife in his possession, but it lasted in his possession longer than most knives do. Um, I like the look of it. I've got a Berg Blade Slim that I really enjoy that was made by Wee. This knife was OEM by Riot. When I read the story about it, saw the look of it, I'm a sucker for just a nice, neutral gentleman's folder. Add a flipper. I like it even more. Wonderful lock access, lock bar access. Wonderful lock geometry. Wonderful sharpening choil. Um, Nice, nice blade spine with a nice swedge here that comes almost to the complete tip. The tip is very pokey, 
it's very much a splinter remover if you need it to be but just a, a well done well done specimen guys let's get a couple of quick size comparisons so you guys can get an idea of the size of our bird blaze sweeney and the sweeney by the way if you read the bird blaze website was taken from the barber sweeney todd so there's the cold steel four max and the Civivi Baby Banter, which is much smaller than the Sweeney. And the Cold Steel 4 Max is unsurprisingly much larger than the Sweeney. Let's look at it next to the Benchmade Bug Out. Mm, it's about a quarter, maybe a half inch shorter than the Bug Out. And maybe about three quarters of an inch, half inch shorter than the Spydeco Paramilitary 2, and about half inch larger than the bug out. So let's see what that translates into you and me measurements. So we take the Javon promotional tape measure, and we will find out that this knife is about seven and three quarter inches with a three and a half inch blade that has a three and a quarter inch cutting edge, four and a quarter inch handle. Where I hold the knife, it's right about, we'll say four inches to be safe. And that is this grip right here. I like to grip the knife right there. There is no jimping on the blade, but I have a very, very strong purchase. I don't feel the clip when I'm cutting cardboard. I don't feel hot spots because everything is rounded off so soft and nicely, including this lock bar access. That's another thing about this knife. You can deploy it for weeks at a time because the lock bar access is so easy to get to and the detent is so snappy. It's just a, a mad, mad win. So let's look at what we're looking at with the blade thickness there, blade stock. Point one four two zero, and then we're pretty thin behind the edge. I am going to call it at point zero one eight five, and then the handle thickness, right under half an inch, point four nine five five. So guys, let's see finally how much this guy weighs. Do a quick measurement or weight on it. 3.45 ounces. So if I'm not mistaken, it weighs right about the same as the Voodoo. 3.45 ounces. But guys, yeah, that is what I would consider one of the biggest surprises I have purchased this year. I did not plan on getting this knife initially. Um, I will say that Lefty's excitement, again, I don't judge the reviewer. I don't judge the review necessarily. I look for the nonverbal communication and the excitement that I think the, uh, I can read Kevin like a book. He plays poker. I'm sure he thinks he's slyer than he is, but I think he's just a legit guy who shows the way he feels about knives. And I know he really liked this knife. The more I looked at it and read about it and played with my Slim, um, they came available on DLT site. I picked one up. This color variation sold out, so I will link the Berg Blades website. I have no affiliation with those guys, but I will put the link there so you can read about how the Sweeney became to be. You can see which variations are still available, and if you're so inclined, you can order one. But guys, great knife. I appreciate you more than I could ever say. The fact that I have a platform to talk about knives, and I have a few people that come by and watch the videos tickles me to death. I appreciate y'all more than you know. If you never subscribe, I still love you and appreciate you more than you know. I invite you to come by a Friday Night Flicks, hang out with us, try to win a knife. Um, but please, most importantly, look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love each and every one of you. Peace.